Hey guys, welcome back. It's Steve from XGen AI, and today we're going to be delving into the world of SEO and content creation with Perplexity AI, utilizing the power of Claude 3.5 Sonnet to generate SEO optimized blog posts. Okay, I'm going to be breaking down the entire process step by step in this tutorial video, so stick around and follow along if you want to learn the process. So, the first thing you're going to want to do inside Perplexity AI is to actually change your model to Claude 3.5 Sonnet if it's not already done so. So go to settings and you can do that here. Um, you can select from the model. It's worth noting that Claude 3.5 is only available in the pro or the paid version of Perplexity, but that's one of the advantages of Perplexity is that on one subscription, you get access to all the different models, GPT-4, Claude, Sonar, even the image generation models, okay? So if you haven't done so already, check it out from the link below. So I'm going to go to home and let's give it a search. First of all, what we want to do is we want to find low competition or even backdoor keywords that we want to start writing blog posts for because there's no point in just writing posts for the sake of it, guys. We want to make sure that they're able to rank and obviously bring us in money. So I did this search earlier. I asked Perplexity. I said, find me 10 low competition keywords that people would find or people would use to search for best cameras, okay? And the answer here it's given me is a list of 10 keywords that are potentially low competition for best cameras, all right? So what you wanna go and do then is you wanna check these um, suggestions inside whichever keyword research tool you're using, okay? Whether that be Hrefs, whether that be SEMrush. I use a really awesome tool, guys, called Key Search. It's a fraction of the price, and if you sign up through my link below, you'll get 20% off again. It'll be like 16 bucks, guys. It's a no-brainer. Save yourself thousands of dollars, okay? And you wanna start putting some of these keywords into Key Search, okay? So let's just say, um, recommended cameras for wildlife photography. I mean, you wanna go through them one by one, you might even want to ask them for, for more than 10, maybe 25 or maybe even 50, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and put it into key search and I want to find some potentially low competition keywords that we can start using blog posts for, start targeting. I'm going to let that kind of search here now. Um, and as we can see, we've got a list here on the right hand side. It'll be the same really for whatever key, um, whatever research tool you're using. And as we can see, we want to particularly be targeting, especially if you're a new blog, um, scores of 35 and under, anything you know that's in the green. And we can see here, we've already got best camera for shooting wildlife. It's green, it's a 39, so a bit of competition, but it's got huge search, tra search traffic, 5,400. So that's definitely one I would be interested in targeting. We've even got your Canon camera for wildlife photography, 37, 210. So you wanna make sure that the keyword is getting traffic, but it's also fairly easy to rank for. And the easiest way to do this is to go through each of the keyword suggestions one by one, and then export the CSV. You can then upload the CSV to a uh, Google Sheet, and then you can just simply sort it via competition, okay? And that way, it's very, very easy to see, and you can do that step by step for each keyword, okay? So that's kind of um, how I do that then. Once you've got your list of seed keywords that you wanna target, let's say 20 to 50 keywords, we can start going ahead and using Claude 3.5 Sonnet inside Perplexity to generate SEO optimized blog posts using a custom prompt, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use um, my custom prompt, okay? Um, I've given it a little bit of SEO optimization there. This is a simple prompt. I do have much more advanced prompts with several different steps, including outlines, etc. If you wanna grab all those, please do sign up to the next gen new, uh, AI newsletter in the link below. I've given away all my prompts. I can give away everything each week. I promise I won't spam you. Sorry, I lost my words there. And um, yeah, you'll get absolutely everything. But I'm gonna go copy and paste my custom prompt. And then I'm gonna use this article as the information the prompt is referring to, okay? And what it's gonna do is gonna give us an SEO optimized blog post back using Claude based on the prompt I've given it, and then using this information as um, an article, okay? So it's come up with, and I did this search earlier because as always, when you're recording live, stuff never goes right. Uh, it's best camera of 2004, and this is the keyword that we're targeting, okay? So it's a really, really difficult keyword to, to rank for, best camera of 2024, but I just wanna give you an overview of exactly um, what it's gonna do. So it's gonna use this information here, the answer it's given us to create a blog post, right? And we can see here with my custom prompt and it's gone ahead and created this article here, right? The best cameras of 2024, 
ultimate guide to choosing your perfect camera, okay? We've got the introduction, uh, we can see all the, um, the H2s, etc. It's doing a comparison. And inside my prompt, I asked it for some, um, some extra things. For example, I asked for a table, I asked for uh, frequently asked questions, I asked for a comparison. And we can see here, Claude, has given us absolutely everything I've asked for, okay? Comparison table, factors to consider, even a frequently asked questions, and also a conclusion, okay? So this is really, really awesome, right? And, um, you know, rather than coming up with the conclusion yourself, you can let Claude kind of choose for you, and then you can go ahead and edit it how you want. So to me, on the face of it, this looks really, really good. And if you want to improve the SEO score of this further, you can go ahead and paste this into um, a content editor such as Surfer or Neuron Writer, and you can start to really max out that SEO score. You should be getting a good score out of the box with whichever custom prompt you're using, even if it's mine. Um, but there's definitely things you can do to improve that, okay? So what we've done here with Perplexity is we've used it in combination with a keyword uh, research tool to find low competition keywords we want to target. And then we're using Perplexity's answer engine to rewrite into SEO optimized blog posts. So keywords to blog posts using articles on Perplexity. Okay guys, that's really, really easy. And there's actually a way we can automate this entire process, basically create a content creation engine to have um, combine these tools together through automation to keep on pumping out these blog posts, right? If you want me to do a separate video on how to set that up, let me know in the comments below. It'd be a much longer video, of course, but once it's set up, you've got your own kind of conveyor belt of content creation, keyword research, blog posts, etc. I mean, these tools are just incredible, guys. Imagine if we had these a few years ago, yeah? How easy everything would have been. Um, but yeah, like I say, you've got something which I'm happy with out of the box here and you can go ahead and, you know, SEO optimize that even further. So there's one extra cool thing I wanted to show you and that's how to create kind of charts or diagrams or images based on the info you provided. So I simply asked Perplexity a follow-up question, create a chart on the info I provided, I should have said from the info, okay? And as we can see, it's giving me a comparison chart here of different cameras it's recommended, uh, resolutions, video reses, and key features, etc. okay? Um, I have had, to be honest with you, much better results with this on other articles. It's giving me, you know, diagrams and pie charts and things like that. But again, what I asked, it was extremely simple, okay? You can do a much better prompt than that in your own time, or you can even iterate on it and, you know, give it extra information. But again, you know, you can get as much out of this as you put in there, right? If you want images, you can get images, charts, you can get charts, anything to kind of support your article and make it more appealing to the reader. We can even ask Perplexity to search us uh, videos and things like that, relevant related links, so we can go ahead and put into our articles. But again, you know, you get out of this of what you put into it, all right? So hopefully you can un understand that process. And one last thing before I end this tutorial, I just want to say a word out to an AI SEO writer I've been using recently that's really kind of ramped up my content creation process and it generates blog posts instant, well, almost instantly, purely from keywords. The app is called Journalist AI. So if you go to tryjournalist.com, I will leave a link for this below in the description. You'll get 10% discount through sign up my link. I get discounts on everything, guys, right? Stay with me. Um, the, one of the reasons why I love this SEO writer so much is it it gets really good scores straight off the bat, but it's also got this really good SEO AI editor, okay? So it's kind of moving away from this one-shot, one-time generation. And if you're not happy with certain things, you can go ahead and have the AI do loads of different things for you. It is the best link addition uh, tool I've ever seen in an AI writer, okay? You can add internal links, external links instantly simply by um, clicking on the paragraph and using it, okay? It's really, really good. I thought I would throw this into the, um, the video just in case you are looking for a hands-off AI SEO writer. You can do a lot worse than journalist AI, okay? Check it out from the link below. But hopefully you've enjoyed this kind of, uh, I guess, mini tutorial on using Perplexity and Claude 3.5 Sauna to rewrite uh, articles into blog posts. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below and I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you very much.